what's up guys welcome back this is Dinesh here and in this video I'll introduce you to the gravity attribute in Android. In the previous videos I showed you how to add spacing between the individual components. Now let's see how we can actually center this component so a linear layout example app will look like the change text application. Now if you want to adjust any component on the left side of your screen, in the middle of your screen or on the right side of your screen then you have to use the gravity component. So gravity attribute allows you to adjust each and every component either on the left side, in the center or on the right side of your screen. Now if you compare the linear layout example app with the change text app, you can find out that there are two components which I need to center that is the text view and the button because the edit text is already occupying the entire width of the screen. So I do not need to center this. So without wasting much of the time, let's see how we can use the gravity attribute. So first I'll maximize this. After that, I will center this text view. Now if I click on the text view, you can see the blue borders are surrounding the text, which means the width of my text view is wrap content. If I go inside the text tab, you can see the width of the text view is wrap content. So first, let me show you how you can center your text view if your width is wrap content. So I'll go to the text tab and this time below the Android layout type, I'll type down Android layout. So, so as you can see, I've got the Android layout gravity over here. So guys, in the gravity attribute, you have two gravity attributes. One is the Android colon layout underscore gravity and second is android colon gravity okay let me see if i can show you both of them okay so if i just type down gravity yeah as you can see first i have layout underscore gravity and second is only the gravity attribute now whenever the width of any other component is set to wrap content you can directly use the android layout gravity and put it equal to center horizontal so what this will do is, regardless of wherever your component is placed on the screen, since the width is wrap content, it will center your component according to the width of the screen. Now this is one way of how you can center your component using Android layout gravity. Now let's see how the Android colon gravity attributes work. Now to use the Android colon gravity attribute, I'll first change the layout to match parent and temporary I'll just remove this line and let's see how the design panel looks so currently you can see the width is set to match parent and since the width is set to match parent and currently since I have deleted the gravity component you can see the text has by default gone to the left side okay now with layout with equal to match parent next I'll write down android layout gravity so guys whenever you use only the gravity component please make sure that your layout width is set to match parent and if i use only the gravity component i'll make this center horizontal and this time if i go to the design tab you can see over here the width is match parent and since i've selected android colon gravity this is now centering the text according to the width of the text view so guys just understand the basic difference whenever you use android colon layout gravity it centers the text depending upon the layout width of your screen and when you use android colon gravity it centers your text depending upon the width of that individual component in this case that component was text view so next what i'll do is i'll just center this button and since the width of this button is a wrap content I will use the Android colon layout gravity and I'll set it again to center horizontal and this time if I go to the design tab again you can see over here my button is placed in the center so guys in this video I basically showed you how you can use the gravity component in two different ways in the first method I have made the width match parent and I've used the Android colon gravity attribute and in the second method, I have kept the width of the button to wrap content and then I have used the Android colon layout gravity attribute. And I have put it equal to center horizontal. 
So guys, basically it's your choice of how you want to use the gravity attribute. Now I'll end this video over here. In the meantime, if you like this video, please feel free to hit the like button and I'll catch you in the next video where we talk about the merging and the panning attributes in Android.